Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina Belmonte. I am a lifelong and diehard Milanista, and I'm here to give my reaction to Roma vs. Milan for the Serie A sit down. So Milan came into this game having won a lot of their most recent games with a lot of their most important players. However, they didn't really win in any kind of convincing way. And I know most will say, hey, when you're you know going for a title or in any season, any way you can get those three points is fine. Take it and shut up. However, a lot of us fans were a bit nervous just seeing, you know, we're not really playing well. We're not playing the way that we know we could. But I think a lot of us had our minds eased when the first whistle went against Roma. We started playing. We had control of the game. We played very well. We had a decent amount of quality chances, which I think, at least for myself, put me right at ease. Finally, Ibrahimovic put Milan ahead in the 25th minute. It was a lovely free kick, and it was also his 150th goal in his career in the Serie A. Ibra continued to be an integral part of the match. He assisted Leao on a very cheeky, very nice goal. He scored himself again. However, both were called back for offside, Ibra being the one that was offside. It was Ibra again, though, who won a penalty for Milan in the 53rd minute. But if I'm being honest, I thought it was a bit soft. There was definitely contact. I'm not going to deny that. But was that enough to warrant a penalty? I'm not sure. I don't necessarily think it was Maresca making an error. I just think that this seems to be the new standard in football. And if not football in general, definitely in the Serie A. Those kinds of penalties are usually given, whereas you probably wouldn't see that 10, 15, 20 years ago. Nevertheless, Maresca gave the penalty and Frank Kessie stepped up to take it. And I think a lot of Milan fans were maybe a bit nervous seeing Kessie stand over the ball since he has had a few penalty misses recently. But ultimately, Il Presidente converted and he put Milan ahead to nothing. So while the penalty may have been a bit controversial, I don't think anyone that was watching, whether you're a Roma fan, Milan fan, or a neutral, could deny that Milan were playing well enough to deserve being 2-0 up. But then, in the 65th minute, everything changed. Teo Hernandez, who's only playing his second game back after being out with COVID-19, committed a really silly foul against Pellegrini, which got him a second yellow and a subsequent red card, which will mean he is not eligible to play in the Derby next week. So while I fully agree that Hernandez committed that foul and he deserved that yellow, a lot of us Rossoneri fans were upset because Radek Krunic was fouled literally seconds before that tackle from Hernandez and Maresca just let it play. So if he would have called that, would Teo have gotten that second yellow before the end of the match or would he've gotten that second yellow before Pioli eventually subbed him off I don't know we will never know but ultimately the red card proved to be a turning point in the match Roma after that red card seized control of the game they were extremely dangerous in attack they just start peppering shots at the Milan goal and even themselves were probably owed a penalty that Maresca did not end up calling even after the VAR had reviewed it. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk about referees in this match, in the Serie A in general. And for me, I think it's a mixture of inconsistency, but also incompetence. We see a lot of times where there's goals that, or there's times where referees should be looking at something and they don't, or they still look at something, they don't end up calling it back. There's just a lot of inconsistencies and you can apply the same standard to different situations and you're coming up with different decisions. But ultimately, I think it's it's due to incompetence. I don't think there's any team there who's sitting there paying referees or trying to influence referees. I just think that we haven't had good referees in Serie A for a number of years. Like, Point to the last time you had a referee and thought, he's a great referee. I don't think many of us can do that since maybe... Colina. So yeah, every team can sit there and say, this referee decision went against my team, it cost us points, or it just shouldn't have happened. But it's it's happened, it's still happening even with the VAR, and unfortunately it's just this persistent narrative in the Serie A. 
But referees aside, thanks to some impressive defensive displays, especially from Kair and Tatarushanu, Milan were able to weather the Roman storm, and that 93rd minute goal from Stefan El Shawari was not enough to take any points from Milan or mount any kind of comeback. So that means in the end, Milan finished this match, level on points with Napoli at the top of the table, and us Rossoneri fans, we just move on from here. So thank you all for listening, and as always, Forza Milan!